We're Max and Jackie, and after spending over a year traveling full time, we've finally made it to South America. Oh. <laughs> oh! Wow! This place is amazing. We spent the last three weeks exploring Colombia. Welcome to Medellin! Yeah. <laughs> which has finally brought us to the Kokora Valley, famed for having the tallest palm trees in the world and the most fairy tale s landscape we've ever experienced. Oh my God, the view right now is incredible. Most people who visit the Kokora Valley stay in the town of Salento, but we're going to be staying right in the valley in one of these amazing, luxurious domes. This is like the best day we've ever had. We are heading out to the Kokora Valley now. We've actually arrived in Salento. We're in the main plaza right now. We're just about to head in these really cute old school Jeeps and that's how you get out there. It's 4,500 per direction, which is super affordable. The adventure begin. <laughs> Good to be tourists, but uh, safety first, kids. Safety first. <laughs> Gracias. Gracias. That was such a fun ride on the Jeep. You know, if you have the opportunity to not sit in and hang out because the views are obviously way better, and it's just a bit more of an adventure. Nice to be able to do that. <laughs> I was only. Six thousand for the both of us. I only charged six because we didn't go the whole way. Yeah. We're actually staying just before it so that we can sleep in the valley area. But where most of the tourists go is where the hiking starts from. We'll be taking you there tomorrow. Apparently Sol is going to take us on a guided hike to a waterfall soon. <gasps> Look at this, oh my gosh. You can see a waterfall from the balcony. <gasps> oh, wow. Oh, it's so, so cute. Nice. The moment you've all been waiting for, the big reveal. Oh, holy moly! God! <laughs> so, welcome to Lumber Glamorous Camping here in the Kokora Valley. This is our beautiful private entrance. So, each glamping hut has its own little, like, kind of private area. They've really landscaped it so you're shut in by the fauna, flora, whichever one is plants. <laughs> we are greeted by a magnificent viewing balcony with a little table. We have an amazing view of a waterfall up there. So whilst we sit our morning coffee, cuddle up in our blankets, it's going to be chilly. We can watch the uh, waterfall and listen to the birds sing <laughs> over here there is quite an uncomfortable net <laughs> oh, it's not very comfortable to be honest <laughs> the idea of it is really nice but you wouldn't want to be sitting there for very long welcome to the main event come on in I honestly like obviously I saw pictures 
before we came here but i'm still so blown away like this has got to be one of the most beautiful places we have stayed in all year ever i don't know i'm just so happy to be here it's beautiful we have a huge comfy bed bed test ah. solid so nice oh my gosh and a fluffy blanket then we have a few. A few. <laughs> and, I, mean, no. <laughs> I don't know, I was just seeing if there's anything else I should point out first. And then, of course, the main feature of this room is the amazing view right behind you. Like, seriously, there's a waterfall. <laughs> like, we walked through an avocado farm to get here, arrived to a waterfall, we're staying in a glass structure so that we can see the view. And you already know the bathroom is amazing because you saw our reactions. Oh my god. But come have a look. This bathroom is literally massive. Like I'll go into the shower. Look how far away I am. <laughs> <laughs> Both of us could easily shower in here and not touch each other. There's like just a lot of space. But like everything is just nice. And I really appreciate that because a lot of the time when we're traveling, we're staying in pretty affordable places and the quality is not normally this nice. So we love getting to treat ourselves every now and then. We must have been sat down for five minutes, not even. You know, it's just, just there's too much to do. The world is too much of a bigger place to just sit down and have coffee. So off we go up there. The waterfall. There's a lot of thunder. <laughs> the sky is like very gray. Now where's Sol? Sol! Guide. We need our guide. Come on, Sol. Time to work. All right, we've decided we're just going to go for it. We're going to risk it and see how we go. Hello, buddy. We've got our uh, tour guide right here. Sol is going to show us the way. <laughs> Love it. Look at him. Follow me, guys. It's just a half an hour walk or hike uphill. So hopefully we make it there and back before the rain. Hey, buddy. Show us the way. Look how many avocado there are. All of this. And one tree and like hundreds. And look how tiny those ones are. Wow, look at that valley. Look at that dog. for tomorrow we got a long one <laughs> so we've entered into the forest still very steep but at least there's stairs now which is very helpful oh, so beautiful We can hear water now, which means we're very, very close. I'm going to trip over if I walk backwards. Oh my gosh! Wow! Yeah. 
we made it to the waterfall, but it kind of has started raining. So we're probably not going to get to hang out here that much. We will have to walk home, but look how beautiful. My gosh, I'm so glad we came here regardless of a little bit of water. It's not the end of the world if we get a little bit wet. The sun is starting to set right now. It's a little too early for dinner, but it is perfect time for upper roll. So we've got some wine, crackers, and we grabbed some board games from up at the restaurant on our way back from our hike. So we're just gonna have a nice little chill time, watch the sunset, and we're in the perfect alignment. Like the sun is gonna go directly where our balcony is. Yeah, so whatever you do. Has been seven fours. Nice cozy fire, some pasta, and some red wine in the winter nights. Mm. You can like it any better than that. Wow, someone can light a fire. I mean, I did grow up in Alaska with the bears. <laughs> I grew up in Madagascar tropical island. We've just ordered our dinner. So the restaurant here on the property is not only beautiful with an amazing fireplace, it's also really good looking food and very affordable as well. You're not paying more to eat out here than what you would really pay in town in Salento anyway. So very worthwhile eating here. We're gonna wait for our food and we're gonna keep playing our board game because Max keeps winning. I lost again. Third time in a row I've lost. It's really sad. Might be four times actually. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Mm. Okay. Fantastic. Thank you so Thank much. You so much. Dinner looks amazing. Oh, cheers, man. Cheers. Oof. Oh my god, it's so nice. Oh. oh, it's so nice. This is really cool. Oh, I'm so glad we came here. What an amazing experience. Yeah. It's not every day you get to see stars from your bed and still be warm. Made with love, lots of it. Thank you, my goblin boyfriend. Welcome, my tricky Fiona. Sure. Move slowly, please. <laughs> I just said it's hot. <laughs> So sad face she's giving us, but we have to start our hike. We're currently three and a half kilometers from the trailhead of the actual Kokora Valley hike. So we're gonna start walking there, but the walk is along the main road. So hopefully one of those willy jeeps come by and we can flag them down and jump on, but otherwise it's just a little bit extra exercise. A few moments later. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Woo! <laughs> Gracias, guys. Uh, Thank you. Uh, we were lucky enough that these angels from Spain actually picked us up on the way, and it was a big wow. uphill, so saved us so much. <laughs> Thank you. Gracias. <laughs> So if you get a willy jeep from Salento or if you stay in the Kokora Valley like us, you will see a lot of the jeeps will stop right next to this blue gate here. So there's actually two ways to start the hike. The first one is go through the blue gate and get started. But this is the anti-clockwise route. Otherwise you head up the road and follow that path and you take the clockwise route. I don't really know which one is better. But everyone else who was here, and there was about like 40 other people here, <laughs> were going the Kokos route. So we're just gonna go the other way. Oh my god, the view right now is incredible. We're just, we're already entering the valley, I guess. There's already giant wax palms everywhere. It's beautiful. There's a stream. There's fresh breeze. It's sunny. Ah, it's so nice. Gracias. Yes. To know that, that in the long hike you land in two private lands. This is the first one, you need to pay here 6,000 per person. The second private land is up there in the valley, you need to pay again there, but it's 15,000 per person. So you have to okay. pay twice. Okay. Clearly, this area is just, it's not overhyped. Come to Colombia, you have to come, stay in the Kokora Valley, do the hike. Just to add to the fairy tale esque vibe of this hike, there's like a very light dusting of rainfall now, but the sun is still shining. We're protected in the trees. Like, oh my god. Honestly, I don't know how this could get any better. Look at this. The scenery just took a super dramatic change. We entered the jungle from the farmland or valley that we were just in. And it's like lush, thick, amazing. Wow. to what I would say is the end of the loop. The no, top of the loop. The top of the loop. The peak. The peak. The tail end of the <laughs> <laughs> We made it to the tail end of the loop. The tippy toe. And the peak. Uh, huh? the peak. The peak. And uh, <laughs> and we found ourselves We're <laughs> laughing because this is the third time Max is trying to film this. The first time the camera died, the second time the battery died. So now this is the third time. Anyway, we have quite a bit of sweat. That last bit before we stopped here was quite steep and I just got delivered Uber Eat. Thanks, Snoop Dogg. I see food, see food, see me. Ah, you guys gotta see this view. Lunch is over, our grassy knoll 
got very busy, basically invaded by other tourists. But we can't blame them because it was a beautiful spot to stop. So it was a great little snack for us. Coffee, oh. well worth it. Yes, absolutely. And soon we should be entering the palm tree area. We just passed our second checkpoint where we have to pay 15,000 pesos per person to enter because it is private property. We have reached the magical viewpoint. Yeah, I feel like this is the pinnacle of the view. This is the pinnacle. This is amazing. Wow. Beautiful. Absolutely spectacular. Without further ado, the view you've all been waiting for. kind of really picked up only like three minutes after we got here so we didn't get any good drone shots oh yes that is Whoa. i hope you can hear us these palms unusually only grow at above 3,000 meters above sea level they can grow up to 70 meters in height or 200 feet and the reason they're called wax palms is because they actually produce a layer of wax around the trunk which you can use to make candles apparently. They will live for up to 200 years and they take 50 years to reach their adulthood. Amazing, I'm so glad we came here. Well worth the long hike because it was absolutely beautiful. But now, time to go back and enjoy our amazing accommodation. We are ending the night exactly where we ended the night last night on this very cozy couch by the fire with a delicious pasta here from Lumber Glamping. We've had the best day and this is the perfect way to end and we're playing some board games. But we just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. We really hope you enjoyed this video and it was a little bit of a guide for you for how to experience the Kokora Valley. If you want to stay here at Lumber Glampy, we will leave a link in the description below. Yeah, go and check it out because it's amazing. So and the stuff, nice. stuff 10 out of 10 by the way. Yes, thank you Carolina and thank you Sol. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Bye guys. Bye. We may have stayed somewhere very fancy, but this is how we leave. <laughs> when I always thought gum trees were only in Australia, because give me a home among the gum trees. Lots of plum tree, kangaroo, a sheep, a tooth, a friend are out the back, and an old rocking chair. That's what the trees sound like. Say queso! <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is that? Anybody knows?